To be calling you mine Not much, I just wanted you to know For you I have my gratitude and so much more Every one of your message I be reading inside I've been listening to you from the start Thank you for 
about today, tomorrow, yesterday, every day and night. I wanna thank you for believing. I've been listening to you all along. Put it to my faith. I just feel amazing every day. And Yeah. Let me explain. I cannot do this in just in a day. It okay, don't I know you get gone. I know that you will be feeling the same. Yeah, but you might I need Monday. She got me, but you get out. We just keep moving along. I just had to make you a song. Even your sad imagine. I don't wanna waste your time. Put you in my position. Don't want you to wait in line. All this time I've always thought to myself. What if she be the one for my life? I've been listening to you from the start Thank you for today, tomorrow, yesterday Every day and night I wanna thank you for believing I've been listening to you all along Put it to my faith, I just feel amazing Every day and night Thank you for your love, yeah
No, never going backwards. I peep whatever is disastrous. We fight, we talk, and make it up. You jump in ship when it gets rough. I can't ever just be enough for you. Matter of fact, I can't even afford you. I saw the way you look at him. I seen your eyes trying to hide your thought. Wanted to get with the truth, and your lies were foot keeping me down no matter how I fought. I noticed that the us and trust was you and I in my suicide. Never going back, never check the past. Sorries never matter, promises don't last. I know that the fire burning wasn't wrong, but a perfect match. We were too good for each other so much that we burned too fast. Left in ash, I had died. Diet. You made me salty just for fun And threw out explanations of my expectations You could never learn to love oh, oh, We can't go from whence we came I know that you won't try that hard I'm wounded by my battle scars Oh, oh, oh <laughs> With somebody, somebody, but hopelessly you don't miss me on the way back round to the house party. Man, yeah. stop at the store, got whiskey galore, and I drank that shit to my eyes. Can't see, can't see. broke down ice machine. It was meant to be cold, but I drink enough, it feels warm to bleed. You were warning me about bad decisions, but you made it worse in this bad religion like Scientology. High and gotta be mixing up with this bad addiction. Treat popping pills like a competition when you popping off about how you miss on my out of roll ups. Bad addition, my window stuck on an old edition. We've been staring at the same shit, but it don't look right to me. You cut my image out of your group photo, frame me for it. And blasting me, but I still feel like I can't ignore it. Flag waving my face so casually. Don't want another casualty. And actually, I'm so proud to see that we came far enough from our hometown. hometown. See it for ourselves that it's gone down. Go down. I'll look on your phone, I've been calling just to lay around. Lay around. I don't want to talk, so I think I gotta say it now. I'm crazy for you. <laughs>
更加害羞。月光里将你影子烫了脸，加上耳朵听说我睡不够。My f a u l 突然发现了碗里看手机黑屏，才想起没任何耐心的朋友。除了小狗，电视背景更棘手，一个人吹瓶了啤酒，谁管他醉醒了没有？什么忧愁？
làm em quên vị ngọt của môi ai ngay cả dù em nói về khó chẳng cũng không thể để ký ức ta trôi nhai
gueule. Stressed out. Feeling lost and I don't know what to do now. What I chose ain't really gonna work out. Falling six feet underneath the floor now. Think I'm gonna tap out. Go to bed, we could be even worse, yeah So sad on my head, feeling like a curse I need medicine, medicine, medicine All my skeletons are off of the table Alexa, can you turn my bathroom light on? Alexa, can you turn off the bathroom light? Alexa, let's game. I guess I can get this all done today. Wait. Please. 
say? Oh, frick, it's Lunar's. Today's Lunar. What's up, you guys? Before we get the ball rolling for Lunars, we just wanted to talk to y'all for a sec and also get the spotlight on us. Hi, my name is Grace Wynn. And do I even need to introduce myself? <laughs> I'm just joking, my name is Lloyd Finney. And this year is the year 2021, which brings in the year of the Ops. And to celebrate, we have some amazing performances lined up for you guys and two great short films. Thanks to our skit director, Enoch and Miguel. And of course, we're gonna pop in here and there to, to make sure that y'all get enough of us and also, of course, to introduce the other acts, whatever. So, we hope that you enjoy all there is to share. Well, time's up. I guess that's it. Let's get the Lunars rolling, and we won't dazzle y'all any longer, of course. <laughs> so sit back, relax, but keep your eyes open, and we'll see y'all around. What's up, guys? We're gonna get a little behind-the-scenes peek on Cherry and her friend Luke, who used to be Bibibop, and let's see what they're up to. Let's go. Terry! Luke! Hey. It's nice to see you guys. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. So, before we see your performance, we just want to ask you guys a couple of questions. Is that okay? Of course. Okay, so, how long have you been dancing? I've been dancing for around, um, since high school. Me and Cherry, we both uh, used to do it a lot in high school and really enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So, what song are y'all dancing to? Yeah, um, so we're dancing to V by Drake Park. 
Okay. Is there any significance to the song that you guys chose? We we just really like the song, I think, and the choreography behind it is really inspiring and something that we wanted to uh, pursue. So, being an MC, I'm excited for Lunars, but being performers, what are you most excited about Lunars? Yeah, um, so I guess just seeing our dance, um, especially being recorded and live, and then having to see Lunars in a drive-in movie format, since it's definitely different from past years. So. Okay. Now, last but not least, is there any shout-outs that you guys want to make to any people that you know, friends, teachers, or people you respect? Um, shout-out to, shout to UGA, go dogs, and hi, Beam and Bob, it's been a while. Hope you guys enjoy the performance. Upcoming, Cherry and Luke. that it all started because of this pandemic but I hope after everything ends and everything calms down and becomes back to normal I hope they keep it because it has a really really nice atmosphere right now yeah I'm not gonna miss the traffic here though Ooh, definitely definitely not. You, know, you know what I miss most about going downtown Lloyd but what do you miss Grace well I really really miss going out with my friend just walking here and there trying out the local hot spots and it's not just about partying you know it's about going out to eat all the local delicacies that we have. No, definitely. And like, I love eating Asian American food, but I always don't want to drive to Duluth to go get it. But you know what's a really great option in town? What? Bubble Cafe. Bubble Cafe? Yeah. And speaking of, do you want to go get some? Oh, heck yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Lloyd, what'd you get? I got a honeydew milk tea with boba and then a chicken katsu curry bowl. What'd you get? I got a house milk tea with crystal boba. It kind of slaps. Crystal boba does slap. You know what else has the word crystal in it? Coming up next, Crystal and her friend Lily dancing to a special mashup of K-pop songs. I know it's too late, I'm so good enough. 
Wash your hands, God. Yeah. By the way, we're making ramen. That's pretty much all we have planned for this segment. I hope y'all enjoy it. Hey, ramen with an egg. Ramen with an egg. Do we yeah. have eggs? Do I have eggs? I don't know if I have eggs. Uh, let's see, let's see. This one, uh, we're just gonna make this one. Hey, eggs. 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 Dang. Who has so many cans of Juicy Juice but doesn't have eggs? Okay, personal fridge. I think my eggs are still there. That's my little playing whatever. I have eggs, apparently. Yay. Okay, one egg. <laughs> it's kind of thick in the middle, huh? Cooking such a simple thing as ramen. Well, the reason for that is because none of us really know how to cook. And because of COVID, you know, we've got to learn new things anyhow. And I guess it's cooking for now. I can cook. I'm just lazy, so no, it's pretty easy. Mm. Now it's boiling. I'm gonna put this big slab of dry noodles in there. And then look, it's almost a perfect circle in the thing. That's so sad. Also, don't forget these. You're supposed to put them in at the same time. Depending on your preference. I don't know. Okay, it's boiling, so we should reduce the heat a bit. I know. Yeah. She's done. What are you tasting? Grace, I'm hungry. Okay, I'll hurry. Yeah. Got the bowl? No, just keep it in the pot. In the pot? Yeah. Dude, can we have like a towel so it doesn't burn your countertop? There's a towel over there. Can you get it? Uh, <laughs> ah, my hands. An arm workout, Grace. Yeah. Well, I haven't been to the gym because of Corona. Get a personal gym. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. You want a taste test? Have a mukbang? Right. It's a mukbang, right? I mean, it is at this point. So, this is our ramen. It's pretty, pretty good. For those at the drive-in, I hope you guys got your snacks and goodies. And then for those at home, well, you guys can eat anything. You're at home. But, hey, hopefully you guys make ramen with us. Grace? Okay, so coming up next is a showcase of one of our local Athens artists, Jeremy Tao. Hope you enjoy. Hey there, my name's Jeremy Tao, and thank you for joining me as we celebrate Lunar New Year with UGA's Asian American Student Association. A little bit about myself, I'm a local independent filmmaker where I screenwrite and direct stories that come from voices that have been hushed and quieted for far too long. And I love to give these voices amplification through my films and my storytelling. To celebrate uh, Lunar New Year this year and to go on the theme of connectivity, I'll be cooking two recipes that are very dear to me. One being Ramdon from 2019's Parasite and the other being an old family recipe, Hmong egg rolls that have been made in my family for a long time. So thank you for connecting with me tonight. Please give me a follow at Jeremy Tao on Instagram to continue the conversation. And uh, I'm excited to connect with you here tonight. In February 2020, right before the world locked down due to COVID, Bong Joon-ho's Parasite swept the Academy Awards. Parasite and its signature dish, Ramdon, has been an inspiration to me ever since. see a dude that kind of looks like me, winning award after award. He kicked down many doors for me that night. Because of him, I now stand a fighting chance in this industry.
Food is the quickest way to connect with a different culture, a different place, with someone who doesn't look like you. You don't just accidentally find yourself breaking bread with someone. Parasite does a fantastic job connecting with its viewer through food. I'm currently doing research and prepping for my next movie. It's about an immigrant Chinese family that owns their own Chinese restaurant and the kids that grow up inside of it. And so I'm really reconnecting with my Asian Americanness, I guess you could say, so I can truly respect and honor this project. I'm having to face demons, ask questions, forgive and apologize. It has not been easy, but very much worth it. I cannot be the best filmmaker, son or man that I can be until I truly connect with who I am. And so I'm trying. Thank you again for hanging out with me tonight. And I'd love to connect with you and learn more about you and continue the conversation. So please follow me at Jeremy Tao on Instagram. I'm so glad I got to share more about myself and more about my passions and just kind of what I do. Please be sure to check out Parasite and I'll see you soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to press one and then seven, five, and then three for four measures. Okay. And then after that, we do the four, three, four, one with the little variations in between mm -hmm. for also four measures. Okay. Right. right. And you got it? Yeah, I think I do. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Four. That was very nice, Lloyd. I appreciate it, Grace. And what, this is your first time, second time? Yeah, it is. Do you have any other songs that you'd recommend? Yeah, well, I've actually been practicing a song called I Can't Help Falling In Love by Elvis Presley, but I don't think I'm good enough to teach you it yet. I, mean, I guess it's really sad that we can't play it because I really do like that song. Mm -hmm. But I think I know someone who can perform that song very well. Our upcoming performance is I Can't Help Falling In Love by Elvis Presley, performed by Shriya Gotri. Like a river flows 
Wait, don't record this part. Okay. You know, Grace, I'm really happy you're here. It's really nice to just play video games with someone. Yeah, you're right. Even though it's just kind of stressing me out, but I feel like in the long run, I'm gonna appreciate this. Just hanging out with my best pal! <laughs> <laughs> As I'm beating your butt! <laughs> As I'm beating your butt. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, like, especially like, spe uh, like with Corona and everything, like, having a good stress reliever, whether that be Smash, video games, or like, just like, doing someone's hobby is like, really good for mental health. Because yeah. I don't know about everyone else, but Corona has made my mental, like, feel a type of way. Okay. Yeah. Wait, Now you're gonna stop. fall to your death. No! Uh, that felt nice. But, mm -hmm. with that being said, I dedicate my victory to our Platinum stop sponsor, Life Art Cabinetry, who has all of your cabinet needs. And upcoming, we have this special little video for an advertisement for them. So, just as a way to say thank you. Hi, my name is Enoch Lee. And I'm Miguel Salon. And for this year's Lunars, we are the Skit Directors. For this year's Skit, we've prepared two short films for you guys. The first one is about a man who learns how to tie his shoes. Please enjoy. Hi, Mom. Yeah, I had a little something. Oh. Yeah, she's doing great. See you around.
your shoe. You left in such a hurry this morning. Where are you going? I don't I think. Whoa! Kevin! You don't know who's on the other end of the stream, but I can't help but think that there must have been someone you were close to. No, not really. I don't really try. Mm. You're lying. I'm not. I'm sure, there was one girl I brought here, but it didn't turn out to be anything. What? What was her name? <laughs> Alyssa. I mean, she was cool. You know, there was a period of time when we hung out. And, um, well, she eventually wanted more. But I was scared to lose what we already had, so I said no. And then she says she understands, but... Sometimes I miss the moments when it felt like it was just us. No. Seriously, it does. I mean, I've had four different boyfriends in the past year. Four? And none of them share one real moment with me. Sometimes, I think it's my fault. I mean, I still believe there's someone out there for everyone, you know? But it gets hard. You really lucked up being able to see your red string. You don't have to waste so much time like I have. Believe it or not, it's not as wonderful as you think. I know exactly how you feel, despite this. But maybe you're right. Maybe things can change. 
Speaking of which, the string isn't tugging anymore. What's wrong? The string goes to three different trails. I'm not sure where we need to go. Alyssa. What? Think about it. Why else would the string be pulling you here? The one girl you brought before. She must be the one who's at the other end of the string. No, we're just friends. We were friends. Let's be smart here. We've been walking for hours and never even get close. <laughs> Let's go to your house and see what we find. Are you insane? We are not going there. What are you scared of? This could be one of the greatest things that's ever happened to you. No. No, I can't. Please. I can't believe you're right. Me neither. You ready? No. I'm kind of nervous. Kevin, don't worry about it. Everything will fall into place. All you have to do is knock. I don't know. Think about it. Your other half is behind that door. Yeah, you're right. Okay, one, two, and...
Hello, this is Grace Nguyen. And my name is Lloyd Finney. And today we're reporting to you from Tate Grand Hall. And you guys may already know who's coming up next, but just to see a behind the scenes peek, let's go talk to Bibimbap. Hey guys, Tate Grand Hall. Hi, how y'all doing? Hey, good stuff. Mind if we sit down a little here? Yeah, go ahead. So, today we have a series of questions that we'd like to ask you for an interview. Um, can we get started? Yeah. Okay. Why would you consider yourself Bibimbap? What's the meaning of the name? Um, the meaning of the name is freshman year when we created this group. It started as just people um, dancing for favorite groups we enjoyed it. But when we decided to participate in like competitions and such, we were looking and trying to trying to in the process of trying to create when we realized we're such like a diverse group of people with a diverse group of music styles and music taste. And we were like, what kind of resonates that? It kind of relates to K-pop. And we were like, one of our Korean exchange students that we had at the time said bibimbap. And because there's so many vegetables and so many different components of bibimbap, and you can personalize it how you like to. So we decided that that would be a cute name with a nice ring to it. And that's why we have kind of like bop at the end, kind of our little play on words for like a bop, like a jam. Or that's a really, really great way to start a name. Speaking of bibimbap, um, I know that when you eat it, you put them all together. So can you tell me what binds you as a group? Ah, yes. What binds us as a group? Uh, again, we're a very, we're like a diverse group of people. We have different interests, but what binds us is kind of like our life dance. Yeah, we know? definitely just get together and just have fun, uh, especially before COVID hit. But unfortunately, you know, we're still trying to have virtual practices and like virtual meetups, just talk about K-pop. Um, but yeah, as soon as COVID just ends and we're able to meet up together again and have practices, it'll be extremely fun and we'll be able to get to that like essence of what people love is just getting together to dance with them. Okay, very nice answer. As you know, last year we've been hit with COVID and things just haven't been the same since then. So, this year, by the end of the year, what are you hoping Beep and Bob will be? Mm. You got an idea? I mean, I think we're just trying to get back to normal and then uh, we're also hoping to become a competitive club sport, kind of get more funding and get more recognition um, and just build ourselves bigger as a brand. So before we get to see their awesome performance, I have to ask, one of your old alumni, Luke Chen, gave y'all a shout out. Do you guys have any shout outs you want to give friends, family, or other orgs? Uh, yes, we will give a shout out back to Luke Chen as he was a very fun member of our group. Um, he joined last year, but due to COVID, we weren't able to practice as much, so he didn't get our full beating bomb experience. Uh, and I would probably also give a shout out to our founder, Daquan. He was born in 1997, but um, he graduated uh, a year ago. 1997? Like, he, he still yeah. supports his mobile. Is that the year of the. Year of the Ox, year yeah. Of the Ox? Wow. <laughs> and then I guess one last shout out to Tala. Uh, who has been with us, you know, since Daekwon was here and also sort of since the beginning. She was our president, our second president, and she's off in San Diego now doing big things, so. So, let's watch the famous and the always wonderful Bibimbap.
Man, Beef and Bob got me feeling kind of hyped up. I wish I could dance half as well as these people, huh, Lloyd? Lloyd? Hey, have you seen Lloyd, Andy? Oh, he's over there. Let's go. Lloyd, what you doing over here? I'm in my feelings, Grace. Oh, is it like sad boy hours or? It's always sad boy hours, Grace. Oh, true. I mean, wait, stool, that mic? Are you gonna be singing for us tonight, Lloyd? Are you gonna like double dip or something? <laughs> yes, I am, Grace. Well, what are you gonna be singing? Um, a chill little song I heard of a couple months back called Can I Call You Back by Shy Mark. Oh, and you're gonna sing right now, right? Yes. Should we go? Hey, okay, all right, okay, all right, all right. <sighs> so, for our next performance is Lloyd Finney singing Can I Call You Back by Shy Martin. I know my mind is like a motel. I'm checking out when things don't go well Sounds like I don't care, I promise I care too much I lose myself in conversations I hear the words but I keep spacing Outside it's raining, that's all I can think about I can't focus now I'm a no-show, I'm social, then super low I stay in and quit things without a warning Is it okay if I turn off? I don't feel like talking Maybe in the morning Can I call you when it ends? When I wanna calm down From the castle on my couch Where I shut you out Can I call you when it ends? When I'm out of feelings Don't we missing out on things And I'm missing you Can I call you back? Sometimes I wonder what is wrong with me I always end up feeling so lonely In a room full of people I call my friends I wanna call my friends I'm a no-show, I'm social, then super low So stay in and quit things without a warning Is it okay if I turn off? I don't feel like talking Maybe in the morning can I call you when it ends? When I wanna calm down From the castle on my couch Where I shut you out Can I call you when it ends? When I'm out of feelings Oh, I'm missing out on things And I'm missing you Can I call you back? Is it alright, is it alright If I don't make sense Even to myself Can I call you back again? When I'm out of feelings Don't be missing out on things And I'm missing you Can I call you back? Can I call you? Can I call you? Can I call you back? Can I call you? Can I call you? Can I call you? Can I call you? Can I call you back? Can I call you? Can I call you? Hi guys! We're back! And we hope you're enjoying the show so far. Oh, I certainly am. <sighs> yeah, you are, Enoch. Unfortunately, the show's about to close, but we just have one more short film just for you guys. That's right. Our last film's about a guy who likes to swim. <sighs> Darn it, I lost again to Miguel. You know the rules, Enoch. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Enjoy the show. dollars make it three mm. call what's wrong nothing I just uh I just have a really bad hand well I guess I'll just take more of your money silly listen in this game it's Peter Listen, in this game, it's silly.
all in. All right, all right, let's see it. A two? A seven? You had nothing! I have matching hearts. Look at this, I had kings. Pocket kings. You just scare too easily. What happens when the game ends? The game? Oh, the game. You know the River Ganges? Mm hmm. Basically, it's like a lifeline for everyone. People bathe in it, drink from it, you name it. It is life. You know, I think in a lot of ways, that's what this game is like, what our love is like. And I've always wanted to go back to the Ganges, but I think as long as we have each other, we'll always have that lifeline, a body of water. Can we go to the lake tonight? Rose, you know we can't. I'm just scared I'm running out of time. Hey! Listen, we'll go to the lake sometime. I promise. But for now, sleep. This game we're playing, we'll keep it going. Forever and always. Until you can beat me. I love you, Rose. I love you, silly. Stay here all day. We should play cards here. Of course. Next time. Whatever you want. Thank you for this. What? Today. This. You're always so scared of everything that we're usually at home, but today this felt adventurous. Well, I'll try to be more adventurous with you. No, oh, silly. You don't need... Whoa! We're not eating shark for dinner. Me too, me too. We're gonna be eating for weeks, huh, Rose? Rose? Rose!
Yes? Oh. Oh, uh, it's nothing. It's nothing. Are you okay? Always. Hungry? Yeah. Something bothering you? Well, oh, no, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm fine. More food? Uh, hi. Hello. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks. Oh, today? Uh, I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm, I'm busy today. Next time, for sure. Uh, yeah. I'll see you around. Bye. Are you going out? No. Not at all. I'm gonna stay here with you to keep you safe, as always. Good. I think our show starts soon. Somewhere I need to go. When did you start calling me Peter? I don't know what you mean, Peter. Can you just say please? I need to go. Remember what happened last time? I know you hated roses, but you know, I thought this would be kind of funny. But I miss you so much. Listen, we can still go home. No, 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 no. I'm. Trust me, I'm fine. We don't. We don't have to go home. We can stay. Told me we're gonna go in for a hug. I'm sorry. I would have dried you off first. Sorry. I would have. I missed you so much. I missed you too, silly. And that's not a problem. What? How? How is this happening? You jumped in and I fished you out of the lake, silly. Uh huh. Well, uh, 
Okay, I don't know if this is a weird time to ask, but like, where are we? Is it, is this the afterlife? That's a long story. Well, I mean, I'm not doing much these days, and I guess I'm dead now, right? So like, I've got all the time in the world. It's complicated. How would I explain over a game of poker? So, what's going on? Well, this is a card game called poker. It's a gambling game. Do you know what I mean, silly? Also, where are the poker chips? Oh, right. I figure ten dollars, same as always. As always. So, what's going on exactly? Let's get to it then. So basically, you're drowning. Two? What? Two dollars? I think there's a connection out there in the real world. Some semblance of our love has been given to the water. This moment is when I drowned, J just an extension of that moment. It's like I'm living that split second right before death, but that split second is going on for years. And you're living that moment too, except you're not dead. Not yet. Wait, I'm still confused. What does that mean exactly? It means that I get to see you again. For as long as this game lasts. So, what you're saying is... We can play this game forever? Peter, you're drowning. So? You'll die. So? I get to be with you again, Rose. Peter, this is a prison. I'm stuck here on this dock. This isn't the River Ganges. It's the River Styx. And you need to have your freedom. Three dollars? We can spend forever at your favorite place, Rose. That's all the freedom I ever want. Call. What do you have? A pair. Well, two pairs if you count the threes. And I had a queen. Good win. Good win. Don't lie to me, Peter. I know you won. I want to keep playing with you, silly, but we've played this game before. That should be all that matters. I don't know, I just want you to understand. Ever since you left, I thought about coming to this lake every day, but I didn't, because, because every time I thought of coming to the lake, I thought I'd see every possibility I gave up by making that choice. And, and 
here we are with a second chance, Rose. Just keep playing, silly. I'm just trying to say that... We have our game, Peter. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't want it to end. I can't let it. Please don't call. to hold on so hard because we had our time. Don't worry, silly, I'll be fine. I just need to make sure you'll be okay. It'll just take a second, don't worry. to protect me, but I never wanted to burden you. I just needed your love, and you gave that to me. All in. You have to call it, and the game's over. What cards do you have? I have matching hearts. I can't make the choice to lose you again. Peter, you have no idea how much that day meant to me. I love that you let me have that day. That was the choice you made. Thank you for this. For? This. Today. Well, I guess I'll just take more of your money, silly. I love you, Peter. I love you, Rose. Call. You finally beat me. You finally got me out of the house. You finally got me out of the house.
Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm feeling better than ever. Thanks. Oh, tonight? Yeah, I can do tonight. Alright. See you then, bro. Man, that video was really good. The whole idea about traveling to another world is really, really cool. I think that genre is called isekai? I think so, Grace. I think that's the genre of a lot of the animes that I watch. I think Enoch and Miguel did a really good job with the cinematography and videography of making it feel like we were there. Yeah, and you know what else is here? What? One of our dance group. Promotion. Let's go take a look. What's up, guys? Hello. Guys. So, just to begin with, we want to ask you to introduce you yourselves and tell us what Pomoja is. So Pomoja to all of us means unity and family and it's all about just being able to express ourselves as one. That's a really wholesome answer considering the times that we are in now. And then speaking as your dance group, what are your passions for dancing? So me personally, I've been dancing since a young age and I found it gave me a way to express myself without having to like actually say words. So that's always been a good thing to me. Mm -hmm. That's a really good answer. So, 2021 is the year of the Ox. Is there any wishes that you want to come to realize this year? Well, we certainly hope for the end of COVID so everybody can go back to the lives they had and we can continue to live peacefully and for the best. Now, before we let y'all go and see your awesome performance, we just want to ask, do you have any shout outs to friends, families, other orgs? We want to shout out the rest of the people in Pomoja and Unity! <laughs> <laughs> so let's go watch what Pomoja's got in store. Let's go!
You know, with all these dance performances, what we haven't seen is someone sing a dance song in their own style. Now, we're turning the tables, introducing Crystal, Ivy, Jennifer, and Jamie, singing the song Psycho by Red Velvet. I'm a raging no visual, Uri, what it eat us up. Yeah, put it in a He want a boon, it's hot. Let me just hop. I'll take an attack. Oh, I just realized that because of COVID, I've had a lot of free time recently. But that also makes me interested in what other people are doing with their free time. You're right, Lloyd. I find that even though I don't have the freedom to go outside, I do have the freedom to be able to delve deeper into myself and find out what my interests are. <laughs> exactly. You know what? Let's find out what our friends are doing, despite, despite COVID. COVID. <laughs> Despite COVID, I built myself a low-resolution avocado in Blender. I learned how to embroider. I learned how to crochet. And here I have Haku in his dragon form. Despite COVID, I find joy in baking and cooking meals for my family. We tried new recipes and got better at cooking. <laughs> Despite COVID, I learned how to appreciate the little things in life, like playing ukulele off-key a little bit. It's a beautiful night. Despite COVID, I found a new hobby of collecting keychains. Sir 
kaki. Thanks. Despite COVID, I've learned how to build and maintain more meaningful relationships in a virtual environment. For example, weekly FaceTimes with my brother. Despite COVID, I still made friends. We still didn't work out. Despite COVID, we've, we've been, been training, training to, to become healthcare, healthcare providers, providers to better serve our community. I voted and worked as a poll official. Despite COVID, I kept my fit game strong. I've been journaling every day. I became better at chess. <laughs> Before we close off the show, Grace, do you have anything to say to all the wonderful people who have thankfully stayed till the very end? Well, Lloyd, first, I would like to thank all of you for staying with us tonight. This past year has tested our bonds and our ability to make and maintain connections, which is one of the most important things of being a human being. 2021 is a year of the Ox, the Ox who represents diligence, persistence, and honesty. As the new year approaches, I hope that you will all be able to persevere and have many blessings far into the future. Lloyd, are there any blessings or advice that you want to impart to our audience? First, I want to say, please, please, please wear a mask and to wear them correctly. And second of all, to be thankful of what you have in the moment and cherish it. You are so right, Lloyd. And I also want to say thank you to all the people who have supported us and to every single person that I got to work, in, work with on this project. New Faces and Old have made this entire experience so much more fun. I also want to thank my brothers from Lambda Phi Epsilon and all my other Greek friends in and out of state for always supporting me and having my back. I hope everyone watching and everyone who's not watching to have a wonderful New Year's and every new year after that for it to be blessed. And I hope to see all of y'all's beautiful faces when the world allows. Last but not least, we would also like to thank our silver sponsor, Bubble Cafe, and our platinum sponsors, Life Art Chemistry and the Diversity Fund Allocations Committee for supporting the Asian American Student Association's Lunar Cultural Festival. Lastly, we want to showcase some exquisite fashion styles from a multitude of cultures. And luckily, we've been graced with many talented and good looking models. This is your MCs officially signing out for the very last time, and we hope your eyes enjoy. Good night, everyone, and Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs>